Hey booze, welcome back to my channel. Fresh out the wash and blowed out. I am parting my hair in two. I missed it on camera and I ended up taking some hair from, in your view, the right side to add to my left side because I wanted a side slick. Also do, I do not want to touch my edges too much. The reason for this blowout was to check my length after a year and a few months since I cut it last year. I'll be posting up that process as well. Also my first time adding heat to my hair. I added Eco Styler, black castor oil, and flaxseed to lay my hair down and gently brushing it into place. I lightly pass, pass the brush over my edges so they can also be a part of the slickness. Moving the hair on top of my hair that will be the slick to the side, I'm gelling down the back first which I'll add the hair on top to. I'm doing it this way because for one, I want the view of my thinning edges to be covered so I avoid having to lay them down every day. Two, it helps with your result being as slick as possible. My camera did die right before I completed gelling everything down. However, I repeated the steps you got to see, plus get, putting it into a ponytail is the same as the right side um, that you saw previously. So as I let my battery charge up, I had my hair settling. What I'll be using is one of the two pre braids I've had, some deep twist free tress braids in the color TT350, which I love. Thought I'd be needing the expression braiding here in color in the color 30. And I'm also using Marley braids. And I had these old school magic gold deep wave braids as well, but I didn't end up using that. So I'm starting by loosening one of the two pre braids that I'll be using for the ponytails, which I'll be separating in half to use for each side. Afterwards, I added two strands only because the first strand was too thin of the deep twist to add to the hair I'll be making the braid with. I'm also letting the deep twist be a bit longer than the braiding hair for that curl will turn into the goddess lock at the end of the braid. The first half, I split it in two and add the deep twist to one side and put it under the other half of the braid and loop it to end up with three strands to braid it with my hair. At first you'll see me just to start braiding directly and then I'll be unloosing it. That's just because I didn't add some gel through my hair to keep it together in the braid which is optional for this style as it will be hidden. So please ignore the size proportion. It is a pet peeve of mine to see hair through braids like this, but it will be covered. So how did I come up with this hairstyle? Honestly, I blew, I blew up my hair. I thought it would be more straightened. And I didn't really like the way the ends were looking. I really need a clip. So I was just going to put it in a ponytail and add your basic, you know, um, like curly fro. But I said, you know what, dreads is something that I am looking forward to actually have. And I love the crochet locks, I love the individual locks, I love goddess locks. So I'm like, you know what, let me try it in ponytails. Let's see how that looks. Also, you know, there's some people that they have like their hair is um, not dreaded at the top, but the ends are. So I thought it would have been really cool to kind of see that um, this way into also, I did not braid the hair all the way down and left some out that I'll be curling and took a slim piece of itself and made a knot to hold it in place to not unravel. With two brown and one black marley braid and a piece of the deep twist to see that reddish orange color throughout the lock, I start by lining them up. Then the way I wrap it around is by having less than a half of itself be on one side and then wrapping the longer part of the marley hair around the braid and itself. At the root I, ran ar I went around three times then slowly go down with it, still using the same number per round. Tip, the more you wrap the hair in one spot, the bulkier your dread. So do it to your liking, I did it uh, to the size that I like it to be. I'm also using nail glue that you would use for your clip on nails to wrap the ends of the hair around itself so that way it stays in place and it doesn't unravel. So I repeat this step as I'm going down 
throughout the whole process. As you can see, as we go lower, the dread gets thinner. That's because I, instead of doing three wraparounds, I did about two and it continues on the, to your, like what you're seeing on the left side. So I'm giving a better view of what I meant by having less than half on one side and wrapping the longer part around. I do switch a direction after the demonstration because it was awkward for me to go around like this. But I hope you guys get what I meant for the most part. For my curls to be fresh and bouncy, I used two flexi rods, wrapped it around, and then I dipped them in hot water for about 10 seconds each and left them in until the next day to go out. Then to make sure everything is slick and nice, I wrap my hair again for the night time so we can wake up looking flawless. Legit the morning after, I'm just getting ready to go to work. I unraveled it, took out the flexi rods, was talking but it was nothing really that important so I just blanked it out. It's looking good, it's looking good. I'll show you guys what the curls are looking like. And this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, and comment, of course. Subscribe. And thank you guys again for your continued support. Until the next video, boost. take care.